Okay, so you asked for an unboxing. This is the new One Company communicator, first fully working Bluetooth communicator. Um, after 50 years of waiting, the wait is finally over. So let's not delay any longer. Let's uh, open this pack and see what's inside it. So first of all, you can see it comes in the, the pack with the standard um, Star Trek graphics on the back and a little explanation of the product, showing what its features, calling out some of the, the top things uh, about it. Here we are, we'll just open it now. And it comes. This is the first product that the one company has shrunk wrapped and this is to keep make sure that the box stays in great condition uh, when it's being transported. Uh, you can see here it's nicely wrapped and protected. Um, first thing you notice is it comes with a gorgeous manual. Just pull it out there. This is um, the poster that you get with the manual. Something we like to do at the one company. Uh, we've tried to make a nice poster for each of our products and this is the briefing room from the Enterprise. Uh, seeing there with a tri, tri monitor on the front there. Um, at the back of the manual, I should say the inside, it's all the explanation of how to use it and it's quite simply explained and uh, this manual is repeated on uh, our website. The box itself, let's open that now. We've got some scissors here. You might want to be careful not to scratch the box when you open it from the uh, shrink wrap. It's a soft shrink wrap, so it should uh, pull off quite easily once you slice it there. Just put that out of the way. So, on the back of the pack, you can see that there's the uh, pouch. We'll open that in a minute. And then you can see the pack in this matte and gloss finish with the sort of dog tag information box. Also, on the back of the pack, you'll see that it has the technical information tampoed there and you see that it remains the property of Starfleet. Okay, so inside this little sachet is the uh, accessory. Now the phaser came with an accessory that was a little screwdriver um, and we wonder what best accessory we could have for the communicator and clearly that accessory would have to be a pouch to keep it safe in your pocket when you're uh, carrying it around. I'll we'll put that on in a minute. Um, Nice easy opening box and inside you'll see we have the stand, the communicator and the charging cradle. Straight away you can see there's no contacts on the charging cradle and this is a contactless uh, wireless charging cradle. So the stand is also shrunk wrapped, um, this nickel plated and to protect it we decided to shrink wrap it inside, keep the wires in place. Again I'll just uh, carefully cut the shrink wrap off. Nice pair of surgical scissors that I've got there from my uh, degree years ago. Um, so here we go, the stand, um, beautifully made in uh, die cast uh, zinc and then nickel plated with the words USS Enterprise uh, standard issue communicator written on there. And inside this little pack, the charging cable, but it'll do great for charging your communicator via any normal USB socket. There we go. Right the second part of the charging stand is the charging cradle and you can see that it's got two finishes on it. It's a nice gloss finish around the most of it. There's a little window here which is in fact an LED which will tell you charging status and then you have this soft rubber uh, sort of seat for the communicator to sit in, shaped to fit the communicator. Inside here hidden away are two magnets and on the back of the communicator, hidden away inside here are two magnets too. The stand assembles very easily. There's a small catch here and that fits into the front slot of the stand. And then you rock it back and it snaps into place. That makes your stand. And as I said, the communicator magnetically attaches to it. Inside here you can see really nice foam rubber, typical one of our hallmark things as the one company making a transit case with a foam rubber filling. Um, so I, I said I'd put the communicator in its pouch and here it is, I'm just slipping it into the pouch. You can see it's a lovely snug fit. 
the pouch design as if it was something from the 1960s. Of course, this pouch didn't exist on the show. But it will allow people that want to to put a bit of Velcro on the back here to make it really authentic. The communicator itself, wow, it looks and feels really good. It's got a great weight to it. The grill, pressed steel, but then coated in this uh, bronze look coating. Lovely flick action. There's a detent in it. It's one of the things that caused the delay for our product, was getting that exactly right. But when you open it, it doesn't shut. And when it's shut, it doesn't flop open, but it has a lovely action to it. You can feel that it's got a great stop. That's because the hinge wheel is a zinc cast, and it bears upon the center plate, the mid plate, of the uh, communicator inside where the switch gear is. Here you can see the aluminium bezel. This is a um, machined aluminium and um, underneath the bezel is a large speaker and that's the speaker that plays the sound and um, plays the, the people when they speak to you and when you play music through it. Here underneath the authentically shaped and designed uh, microphone grill is in fact the microphone and that grill in fact was from a 1960s uh, transistor radio um, and we've copied that exactly in the, in the special grill here. Here you can see the two knobs which were originally slot car, uh, racing slot car hubs and um, we have had them specially made and then thickly chromium plated. Um, pressing the one, one is a press button only and one is a jog button which can go left, right, up and down and in and out. So it has five actions. But the one here on the left hand side has only one action that's to press and that's how you turn it on. And this light here is flashing green to say that the communicator is on but it isn't paired with any other device. Um, if it flashes red in between then it needs charging. At the moment it's partially charged as it came out of the packet, although I would recommend charging it. Anyway, for now, that's all we're going to see. The communicator.